So this happened, right? Uh, this was actually a few hours ago. And it, uh, uh, GGG staff, they're saying, we released all ascendancy info officially in the next few hours. Apparently, uh, Mark Vito, Jonathan on it. But once they start leaking, he was like, damn, okay, right? <laughs> so that's what happened, and that's why it officially got released. According to poll on Twitter that I have uh, for myself, so far, I think I'm winning in uh, the Fula. There's a poll right here, right? So far, I'm going Alkalite. So let's look at the, the Alkalite of Chihuahua again. So Mana Leech Instant, we know that from the video. You can not recharge your energy shield. Mana Leech affects your energy shields. So it's not automatic. You have to hit to get stuff. <laughs> And you had to run mana leech. Uh, and then we have 10% chaos resistance, maximum chaos resistance, and your resistance is double. And this is the this is the tree thing here. Can you start anywhere? Where can you start? Or you can just pick any of these. Or do you just start here? The starting point? I have no idea. Uh what are these smaller nodes? <laughs> I don't know. I'm new to the Path of Exile Ascendancy stuff. Uh, reality bending. So 23% chance to gain 25% damage with hits as extra chaos. So 23% to do 25% extra chaos. I want this one. This one's cool. And then 13% to do 50% damage and a 7% to do double your damage in chaos. Then we got into the breach. Creates a breach around you, allowing you to see the flames of Shkula and you can sit in the breach. And then you also have a secret reach around you. Yeah. And it affects the duration of Chihula on you double. Collecting the... I don't... So in the breach, does it generate flames? And that's what that is. And then these flames, the red one will give you mana life leech. The blue one give you mana leech. And then the purple one give you damage buff. For five seconds up to ten times. So you keep getting them, I guess. And you're always in the breach then, huh? If you cast a skill, the buff. Always considering the breach. This is like the breach destroyer. You want to want to breach on your towers and stuff too. <laughs> Probably. Embrace the darkness. We've seen this. Remove all your spirit. Your maximum darkness increased by 100. And each life or energy shield lost to you is reserved as darkness as possible. Darkness reservation lasts for 10 seconds. And then plus 5 year of darkness per level. I don't know what that means. We'll see as we play. Uh, 1% damage as chaos damage for every 20 unreserved. So you get a lot. You can start reserving, you keep getting more. Increase your damage. And then just uh, 20, 50%. Oh, so these reserve ones, they last for a while, right? And then after a while, they, they disappear. You can reduce the, the, the reservation duration. 50% reduce darkness reservation duration. You hold on to it longer or something like that. I don't know. Reduce darkness. Reserve reservation. No, that means you can have more darkness. That's what it's saying. Because it's the reservation, right? You can have more darkness. I think. Or last long. Dude, I don't even know. Because then if it la why you want to reduce the duration? You want to have it longer. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I have to I have to play around with that one. And I only care for the monk, so we'll look at the monk next and we'll look at all other classes. Uh gain one spirit for every six energy shield and gain one spirit for every evasion energy shield. So you get spirit for your body armor. You cannot gain spirit from your equipment. Only your armor, <laughs> I guess. Uh I so I guess you don't wanna when you have that, you don't have to concentrate too much on spirit on your equipment. Except for your arm. Uh, actually, no. You don't care about spirit at all. So this allows you to not care about spirit at all. And you just want to stack on energy shield and invasion for your armor. And then you can convert your invasion to physical damage reduction, not armor. Interesting. We get 40% less. Meditate. We saw this in the, in the gameplay trigger. So it doubles your armor. And obviously, if you have double, it doesn't double it again, right? And you saw I'm Blizzard, so 10% extra damage uh, while you're in the cold. And then I'm Thunder, while well, Shock Ground, you 10% more damage. Uh, oh, no, no, it's just 10% extra lightning damage. And then just 10% extra cold damage. 
wait no the cold one has to be while you're in freezing in cold areas and the ice one is 25 percent chance of shocking enemies to create shock ground so that's different no wait it's different completely completely lying on freezing enemies create a chilled ground okay my bad i can't read right now and then this one is 25 percent shock enemies shocking enemies will create a chilled ground and this one on freezing will create a chill ground 100 percent wow freezing is guaranteed uh avatar great unbound fear inflicting alignment uh, with hits on enemies right so when you activate this and then once you so this is about when you actually get unbound fury so again i'm fury when you're inflicting ailments not alignment ailments uh on that and then ailments and consume become inbound power prowess Consuming you become an avatar mode. 35% more energy on uh meta skills. And this one, elemental expression, so allow you to do explosion when you crit. Uh strength for fire, dexterity for lightning, and I guess ice for intelligence, yeah. Alright, let's quickly do this real quick here. Okay. I'll do the codes later. Uh, why don't I go upwards? So we have the mercenary, the witch hunter, 20 passive points become weapon set points. What are the weapon set? Oh, weapon set points? Interesting. Do passive skill become weapon sets so or when you swap? Oh, I see. Weapon master. Cooling strike. Cooling strike kills enemies at 30% of below. Not 35. Oh. Magic enemies at 20 and rare at 10. Unique at 5. Thresholds are checked before damage of the hit is applied instantly just go in. decimating strike uh hits against full life only on full life is removed five to thirty percent of their life to spam which bane enemies have maximum concentration equal to 40 percent of their maximum life concentration less cooldown rate lower than a concentration scaling to 50 percent less rate so okay you get less cooldown recovery rate the lower the concentration is scaling up. So you have more, you get maximum. I didn't pause yet. None of them pause yet. I'm looking at these first. You have 30% of enemies based on their missing concentration. On their oh wait, you can make their concentration go down. Oh, right here. Break their concentration on hit. Oh, it's when they're casting, right? You can break it. Regain 10% of concentration each second if they haven't lost concentration in the past 5 seconds. Break them. Break them. Grant Sorcery 1 a 50% damage invasion. What Sorcery 1? Passively Protective Bear. Oh, that's the one where you get the Elemental Resistance, right? Nice. Nice. 10% chance for enemies you kill to explode, dealing 100% of the maximum light as physical damage. Chance to double against demons and undead. 50% increase of sorcery ward. So this thing. So you, you get this to get it and then this to double it. <laughs> Give it to the next person. Gemling. We see some of this. 10% to quality of all skills. What quality? <coughs> of all skills? Damn, that's crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Plus one to all skills. 30% cost. Of skill, so you can spam more and then skill gem. Oh no, it's for getting the skill, huh? But skill gem had 3% more attribute requirement. Wait, it's cost of skill. Oh no, cost of skill. Isn't that mana? You guys think it's over me? Nice. Three additional skill slots. Uh, you can use two copy of a support gem. Oh, this one's nice. You can have double whatever, like attack skill, or whatever, attack speed. And it is resistant for skill gem, depending on red, blue, or green. We know this, right? Attribute requirement of gems can't be satisfied by your highest attribute. So you can just put whatever on. You can go off strange and put whatever on. Inherent bonus from intelligence, strength, and dex are doubled. Damn, these are this is a more synergy than other ones I've seen so far. Um uh, man. Alright, we got Infernalist, 20% cold damage taken as fire, 20% lightning taken as fire. So you pretty much just switch it up. And then physical is chaos. 
Uh, 25% life. Uh, and then plus one maximum spirit per 25 life. So you want more life, huh? Oh, but it reserves your life. Demon form, shape shift. So we've seen this, right? You double your cooldown. I mean, you lower your cooldown and your cast is faster, but you take double damage. Uh, revert to human form and reach one life, though. Yeah, I'm gonna do some pulls. Uh, I think I guess we'll go over after the the mage and stuff. Uh, maximum mana replaced with maximum infernal flame. Gain infernal flame instead of spending mana for skills. Take the maximum life of shield as fire damage when infernal flame reaches maximum. This is all infernal flame upon reaching maximum flame. So you have to you have to calm yourself. You can't just spam like crazy. Uh, you lose flame as you're not doing anything, right? You're not gaining any. So yeah. It's kind of like a cooldown thing. While not low infernal life, all damage. So as long as you're not low, doesn't say what low is though. Okay, you and your allies could put ignite <laughs> just by being near them. While high infernal flame, you and your allies in your presence gain twenty damage of fire damage. Wow. So you wanna you wanna keep inside the range. Uh, summon Infernal Hound, so you get a free Hound, 20% hit taken from your Hellhound life for you, so they can tank damage for you as well. And become ignited when you deal crit. So you get, you come a fire when you do crit. Taking 15% of your life and energy shield as fire damage per second. But you also do more crit damage. There's emulation right there <laughs> on the Infernal list. Uh, then we have Blood Mage, which gives you life remains. I think we saw this in the thing. You can overflow your maximum life. You got orbs when you kill. Or skills gain a base cost equal to mana cost. Yeah. Actually, yeah, every time you kill, you can drop one. Or you, and critical hit, you get a remnant. 10% of skill damage leashed as life. Your curses have infinite duration. Damn, you could leave it on forever. <laughs> gain 10%. Damage as physical damage and elemental also contribute to bleeding magnitude. 1% crit damage bonus per life. Base crit hit for spells is 15. Wow, that's nice. 25 health loss hit is prevented and that much life is lost over 4 seconds instead. And gain energy shield when a body uh, body armor. Gain from body armor is maximum life. That's nice. Okay. All right, let's look at the Ranger. We have Pathfinder. This is like the Alchemist class, right? 50% more flask gains. Life flask effects are not removed when unreserved life is filled. So it keeps going. There's no Q for this. Do not Q, huh? Uh, most damaging poison on enemies you kill is spread to other enemies. The most damaging poison. That'd be the most. Oh, can I make it bigger? Uh, brew concoction. Double the number of poison you can inflict on enemies. Then there's all these concoctions, though. But then they their duration is lower. So we have poison concoction. Consume a mana flask. Throw a bottle of poison. Uh, consume a mana flask for accumulation. That's lightning attack and lightning exposure. Oh, this one's chaos, right? Yeah, poison chaos. Uh, mana flask to do cold and cold exposure. Fire, fire exposure. Bleed is physical and bleeding. Then we have five passive skill points right up right off the bat okay and then 30 percent movement speed penalty when using skills while moving you get less penalty nice your speed unaffected by slow so you can never be slowed then we got dead eye or hawkeye whichever uh 30 percent chance that you can gain you would get, if you were to gain frenzy charges you would gain the maximum number damn this is 30 percent chance you just get full charges Benefit from consuming charges of your skill have 50% chance to be doubled. Wow. What is this site? It's the official site. Here, I can post it again. Uh, I posted in my Discord too. Uh, you have no accuracy penalty at distance for Eagle Eye. Projectile deal 20% more hits to targets in the first 3.5 meters of their movement. Also, if they're standing skill, you go like, BAM! Scaling down distance travel reaches 0% after 7 meters. 
Uh, projectile deals zero percent more hit. Zero percent. What the hell is this? More hit damage to targets in the first three point five percent movement, scaling up to. Oh, this is far shot. This point blank. You can go either or. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wish the they give better scaling on the zero percent kind of. Okay. Uh, skills fire additional projectile. That one's good. Addition, you can apply additional mark. That's also good. Gain tailwind and tailwind is the stacking buff, which grants one percent increased movement speed, three percent skill speed, and fifty percent invasion per stack for ten seconds. Refreshing whenever you gain another stack. Oh, lose, but you if you get hit, you lose it. Three percent less damage taken per tailwind. So at least you get armor, huh? They won't die. <laughs> Wind. Uh, we have the Warbringer, which is the warrior break armor. Equal to 10% of hit damage dealt. You can break enemies' armor to below zero. Damn, you get the extra. <laughs> and then this encased jade is the, the iframe thing that we saw, right? Gain a stack of jade every second. So you gain the jade. Uh, you get some... Not iframe, but you take less damage. Yeah, based on number of jades consumed. That's your ancestral spirits. Uh, each of the totem can summon the spirit minion to fight for you. If the totem summon minion dies, then the spirit will die too. So it triggers spirit when you summon the totem. 20% of hit damage from hits is taken to the nearest totem. So the totem will hit for you. Take the hit for you. 40% base chance to block from equip shield instead of shield's value. Hmm. Interesting. So you can like not care about what kind of shield you're wearing. Just... <laughs> The 30, 35%, this is the passive block, right? 35% uh, less chance to block, but can block damage from all hits while shield is not raised. Wait, it can block damage from... Oh, so you can block anything. You don't have to use it. All hits while shield is not raised. But did you have a block chance now. <laughs> you get less block chance, you can block anything. Uh, so it's all hits. Corpses from your presence they explode when you war cry, dealing 25% of their life. Of the corpse's life, right? And you can ignore the war cry, so you keep popping them. Uh, cost mana, right? Then we have the Titan. And right off the bat, you see this 50% increased effect of small passive skills. This is double all of it. I mean, not double. 50% more of your whole tree. The small ones, right? You get extra stats. And then 50% more armor from your armor. Each slam, second, second slam skill you use gives you an accessory boosted. That's 20% more damage at AoE. And 20% chance of your slam skill to cause aftershocks, which is like AoE, more AoE, right? 50% uh, oh, we read that. Carrying a chest, which adds 20, well, you can get more capacity if you really want it. And your hits are crushing blow. Uh, cause heavy stun on enemies are primed for stun. 40% of damage against heavy stun enemies, and that's hitting enemy towards heavy stun. Based on damage dealt, different enemies have different heavy stun threshold and duration with a very large number have very high threshold. Players cannot be heavy stun for dual, dual purposes. 15% <laughs> maximum life. Yeah. Prime for stun. Normally are prime to stun when they have 40% build up. Magic enemy, okay. 60% rare, 70, unique at 80. So that's all the ascendancy that they released officially. Oh wait, there's more. I forgot the mage. Alright, let's, let's go here. Chronomancer, which is the time stop mage that we've seen. Uh, skills at 33% knock to consume a cooldown when used. Oh, damn, you can keep spamming. Time snap manipulates time and resetting all cooldowns. Time freeze, which is like, you know, time freeze. Self explanatory. Temporal rip, I think you can put a save point, right? Yeah, and a teleport, you get your resetting your mana to what it was at that time. Uh, quicksand hourglass, every 12 seconds, gain. 50% more attack speed. Damn, we got we gotta keep track of that. Enemies your present are slowed automatically. 30% damage taken recouped as life. So it comes back. Recoup effects incur instead incur oh you can recoup faster. Okay. So 30% taken and recoup and then it's recover over time. But you can make it faster. <laughs> Alright, we got the storm weaver. Exposure you inflict lowers or additional resist resistance by 20%. Elemental Storm. Trigger Elemental Storm. Crit. So Elemental Storm creates a stationary storm depending on the skill I'm guessing. Oh, your high damage type. It doesn't matter. 
that trigger that storm for the hit that oh so it is that one hits that do not do elemental damage will not trigger the storm unfortunate you had to do elemental elemental storm has 150 percent more recovery rate so it'll recover faster targets have been affected by two or more chills at the same time your chills have reduced action speed by the max so you reduce them even more but 25 percent less magnitude of chill you inflict all damage from hits contributes to chill magnitude so it, Oh yeah, you can do winter or let's see. Is it mostly winter? Target affected by two shocks same time. Oh you can have, you can put two shocks. You can do two stacks of shock and two stacks of chill, but you know it becomes less. Uh one percent increase effect of arcane surge for every 15 mana. Arcane surge is more cast speed and more mana regen. And all damage in contributes to shock chance. You have arcane surge. You just get it <laughs> right out of the bat. But you can have you can increase this arcane surge. Uh, Forty percent elemental damage taken to recoup as energy shield, so you slowly get it back. And that's all the ascendancies that they have so far for early access, right? Officially released by GGG. Yep. Hope you enjoy that. All right. On other news, we are getting uh, early access Twitch drops for the two weeks. So we can just watch this video of anything, right? So we have Energizing Bolt, Blast Effect from December 6th to the 13th, PSD. Uh, we got the Halo from from the 6th to the 13th as well. And the Portal one's cool, that's what I'm looking forward to. December 4th, theme to the 21st, the Contemporary Lord Portal. And then Chimera Pet, you have to give two Swiss subs though, you know. Right here, right here. <laughs> you get a uh, get come here, pet, because I'll be streaming all weekend and Monday and Friday. Yeah, look how cool that is. Yeah.